In the last segment, we talked about measures of central tendency, like the mean, the median, or the mode. What those measures do is they try to capture the center point of a distribution. What measures of variability do is they try to capture how much spread or how much uh, of a dis how wide is the distribution. So the two main measures that we'll look at are standard deviation and variance. And variance is simply standard deviation squared. So standard deviation is just the average deviation from the mean in a distribution, and we'll see that mathematically in a moment. And again, variance is standard deviation squared. So this is an important formula to know. I'm assuming that most of you already knew the formula for a mean, and if you didn't know it already, it's all right, it's easy to remember. Remember, it's just the sum of the scores divided by the number of scores, so sum of x divided by n. This formula is just, just as important to know. You should know this off, off the top of your head, um, the formula for standard deviation and for variance. It's very similar, it's just now we're going to get the sum of deviation scores squared, that's known as the sum of squared deviation scores, or for short, sum of squares, and divide that by n. And I'll walk you through the math so you get familiar with this, because this is a really important concept going forward in statistics, is knowing how to calculate standard deviation and variance and understanding them conceptually. Okay, so if this is new to you, please spend a lot of time reviewing this segment so that you get this, this, the math down and you get the concept down. And just a word about variance before I dive into the math and an example is in, sometimes, especially in psychology and sometimes in sociology um, or in political science, variance gets a bad rap. So like I study individual differences in intelligence, for example. And a lot of times people think, oh, well, it's so horrible that this, this child is scored so, so poorly on this intelligence test or so on. Um, but it's always important in statistics to remember that variation is natural and it's good. It's information in statistics. So look at variance with a very positive view, uh, if you can, um, because it's, it's, as I said, it's natural. And the way to think of it in statistics is variance is information. It's going to allow for us to investigate covariance and correlation uh, and so on. So, and if you, don't, if you don't trust me or if I'm not convincing you enough uh, that variance is natural and variance is good, uh, check out a guy named Darwin. He, he thought it was pretty good.